What's going on, folks? What's going on? Hey, if you hear that, my voice is uh, back. Or at least a little better. Um, anyway, here are your notes for EL 5.2, looking at biography and tone. So today we talked about how things in ELA definitely spiral back. And now we talked about tone and poetry, but we're bringing it into biographies and how writers of biographies definitely think about tone when they are writing the story of another, of another person's life. There are four particular tones that a bio will follow, and that's what we're going to talk about, and that's what we're talking about today in the notes. Uh, so first off, um, there's reverent, and as I said up there on the screen, um, they can mean two things, whether it's showing how a person has overcome a lot of obstacles in order to be who they are today, or... Um, how an individual has done a lot of positive things in their life that led to what they're doing today. We talked about how students can definitely find themselves, or a lot of students find themselves for their project, definitely falling under this particular tone because you are writing about someone who is really close to you, and for the most part, you are learning about all the things they've gone through uh, to make it to where they are now, or all the great things they've done to be who they are today. So reverend may be a tone that you may see for your project, but it's also something that most biographers will write under. Then we have objective. And these are like just not having a biased uh, perspective on an individual, so being able to give both the good and the bad of a person. Sometimes it may be an equal amount, and sometimes you may realize that the entire bio is very good or primarily positive, but by the time you get to the end of it, the bio is going to give you some not so good uh, facts about that person. So it's just showing you someone who wants to give you everything, to give you all information about one person, not trying to steer you to feeling one way or not or another about them, but just saying, hey, this is who this individual is. Also, we talked about inferior projects. Some may fall into this. You may want to give all these great things about the person who you're interviewing, but also at the end, let people know, like, and all this stuff may sound good, but also recognize that she is someone who's going through these struggles, or she is someone who've had these particular issues in life as well. So, objective is also a tone that might fall um, into a, a possibility for your own project. We have critical. And so critical is when they show the opposite or it may be the opposite side of what you know about a person um, or just the negative side. It all depends on who that is. But the opposite side is the key. So you may have someone, for example, it could be Oprah. And when people hear Oprah, they only know good. But you may read a bio that gives you all these other things about Oprah that aren't so good. So that's a critical tone. Someone who's trying to pretty much break down an individual and let you really know or to critique a person um, other than what we're used to. For the most part, no poem, no bio, I'm sorry, will fall under this for the project uh, because none of us know your individual that well to have a personal uh, perspective on them. To say, oh, I think their person is genuinely a good person or I think they're genuinely a bad person to then for you to turn around and say well let me tell you a story about the other side of who they are so more than likely no one will have a critical tone last we have didactic and so these are po these are bios where it's not the person who's important but it's the situation it's the event it's the topic that's important so for example I may write an entire thing about Martin Luther King but I'm not talking about him I'm talking about the civil rights movement. I'm talking about the different protests and the different marches. So you're going to get a lot of facts, a lot of statistics, a lot of dates, a lot of things about the civil rights movement and the marches, but you're going to get the information through understanding Martin Luther King because he was a key figure in that. And so using a person who was a, um, a primary a primary key person during this time or for a particular topic to then teach us or tell us about the topic. And those are really didactic. And some of yours might fall in this. It'll be really, really hard to say, but there are moments where students have in the past had an individual that they interviewed 
and they've taught us information about a particular topic that their subject did, and that ended up being the basis. But it's, it's very rare. More than likely, no one will fall under the didactic as well. And there we go. So that's kind of what we talked about. Um, at the end of the day, we want to make sure we understand that when you are thinking about your tone, language is key. Knowing the type of words, the type of verbs, the type of adjectives that a biographer uses, those are the things that help lead you towards a particular tone. Okay? So, for example, if this was a piece of evidence in a text, the fact that we see volunteer, volunteer is something positive, which then will tell you, okay, um, I must be in something where positivity is there. So it could be reverent or it could be objective. Um, it's really important to know the importance first. So the importance that we set up for this is that X was someone who is important because she helps other people. Uh, specifically, she helps the homeless get off the street. And one way in her life that kind of helped steer her towards that direction is that when she was in college, she volunteered at soup kitchens where she would feed the homeless. So showing that she's always had this connection with homeless, with the homeless community. Um, in this particular case, she used to volunteer, which is positive. So that volunteer is a positive quality, something that was positive towards her success. Um, the success being what makes her important. In this case, how does she end up working um, and supporting the homeless community in the first place. So reverend would be the main thing. Couldn't be didactic unless I'm giving you uh, facts about homelessness. How, what percentage, pe percentage of people were homeless during the time she started volunteering? Um, was there gender involved with that? Let me tell you some facts about the gender. So if you don't get any numbers and statistics, all of that to go with it, it won't be didactic. Um, objective. I would then need to know the other side. So she may have volunteered, but did she used to also harm homeless people at night? Or was she afraid of homeless people um, when she wasn't around a group or with an organization? So those things can kind of show this contrast between the good of what she's done. So that would be the objective piece. And then critical, I would just need to know who X was. So it really doesn't apply to this because I don't know X to know whether she was a if she's known to be good, or if she's known to be someone who's on a negative kind of like scale. And um, that's pretty much it. So these are your notes for EL 5.2. Uh, make sure that you are going back and again, um, doing your interviews. Make sure they are gonna be robust interviews. Um, wanna get a lot of information out. Get your person talking. Get your person talking. That's what you need to do and need to write down everything. So, for example, when I gave you the interview questions, when I'm asking you, can you tell me about the first job you ever had? Your person may say, oh, well, the first job I had was I worked at a restaurant. If that's where they stopped, you got to go more. Oh, well, what restaurant was it? Um, how long did you work there? How did you find out about it? Is there anything about who you are that made you want to do a restaurant over something else, like working at a grocery store? Start to get them talking. You know what every part of the paper needs. You know the things we've talked about in terms of what makes people important. So start to ask questions to lead answers in that direction for you. All right? Good luck.